Six months ago, I started the process of applying for a software engineering internship next summer. So far, I've sent out over 300 applications and I've been absolutely humbled. Notably, I've had an interview with TikTok that I absolutely bombed and then two interviews with some other financial firms in New York that did not go well at all. So I was pretty demoralized, but then to my shock, four weeks ago, I got reached out to interview at a big tech company. This was finally that break I needed and for the last three weeks, I've been going through some of the interview stages and now i'm finally at that final round interview i thought there's nothing better than to take you guys along with me to show you everything i'm doing so hopefully one of you guys could learn from this process let me show you just how brutal the software engineering interview process actually is my plan for the next five days is to essentially solve at least 50 to 60 leco questions that are tagged for this company then on top of that i'm going to be practicing the behavioral portion of the interview because this is crucial to get hired and so many software engineers overlook it in particular i'm going to look through some of the leadership skills and values that they value at the company and then i'm going to practice my responses using the star method and all that so let's just get straight into it i'll see you in the library <music> That's day one done. I ended up finishing around 15 to 20 Lico questions that were tagged for this company. I have three more days till the interview and my plan is to finish every single easy question tomorrow and then start on the behavioral prep. And then over Saturday and Sunday, I'm going to focus a lot more on those medium questions. Even though I have a feeling in the interview, they're probably going to focus more on the easier questions. I'm also going to spend some time refreshing my basic data structures and algorithms knowledge. So I've been doing stuff like some dynamic programming stuff, practicing my recursion because that's something that I suck at. And I've read all of my notes to make sure I know everything like the two-pointer algorithm like sliding windows all that kind of stuff you know what i mean i'll see you tomorrow the grind continues it's now friday and that leaves me three days until the final round interview as you could tell it's pretty late at night right now. And that's because unfortunately I had to go to class and ended up going to the gym and everything. So it's now 6 p.m. and I'm only just now starting to study for the interview today. I'm gonna go to the library and absolutely lock in. I'll see you there. By the way, if you're wondering how I find out how all these legal questions are asked by this company, let me put you on. So I go to this website called seanprashad.com slash patterns. And then as you can see, you could filter by all of these companies and find all the previously asked Lico questions. So let's say for example, the company was Apple. I could then go ahead and see all of these questions that were asked by Amazon and then go ahead and do them. That way I'm making sure I'm not caught off guard as much as possible during the technical interview. I highly recommend it for you guys. It's Saturday and the stress is getting to me right now. I've barely recorded any content today i've literally been sat in this chair from the moment i woke up until now i've probably solved around 20 leco questions today but it honestly doesn't even feel like enough and yes there are all these easy leco questions and some of them i've already done so it feels like it's cheating but i'm getting a refresher for the interview so it all counts at the end i don't know if this is relatable but i'm getting to a point where i've done so many questions that they're all kind of blending together and i'm worried that i will not be able to solve the next question that's thrown at me also just look at how many leco questions i'm still gonna try to do tonight I don't know if it's overkill, but I want to make sure I'm taking this opportunity that's been given to me. I want to know that even if I get rejected, I tried my absolute best to land that job because that way at the end of the day, I could forgive myself because sometimes things just don't work out. And honestly, the entire recruitment process and interviewing is all a bit of RNG and luck. Like what if I get a question that I've already seen before? That's so unfair to some other candidates. And what if I don't and I get some incredibly hard question and somebody else gets a question like two some. I'm not even going to get into why I think the whole leak code style for interviews is kind of BS, but it is what it is and I need to lock in right now. By the way, whoever at LeetCode decided adding this online feature to LeetCode was a good idea is so toxic. Like, what do you mean 40 people are solving that LeetCode question with me right now? That's so intimidating. I've also started taking down these notes for every single question that I solve so I can refresh my memory the day before the interview. My thought process is on Monday, I'm just going to wake up and for three hours, I'm going to read through all of these notes and try to jog my memory in the hopes that I'm going to get a question I already saw before. I've also started some work on the behavioral part of the interviews and I feel like that's such an underrated aspect that software engineers don't prepare for properly. I'll get more into that tomorrow but my hope is that I could skate past the coding part and then absolutely kill the behavioral portion of the interview because at the end of the day it's another human that I'm talking to and if I have a good connection with them it's increasing my chances that much more. Anyways I think I've burned myself out to be honest at this point so I'm going to take the rest of the night off. I'll see you guys tomorrow to show you everything I'm doing for the final day of the interview prep and what I'm doing for all the behavioral stuff. I barely 
recorded today because I spent maybe 12 hours in the library. I then came home and spent another four hours just grinding through some possible behavioral interview questions. Honestly, I'm at a point where I feel like I did everything I could, so for that, I'm proud of myself. But at the same time, I weirdly don't feel that confident because the more I think about it, every single interview is just completely RNG. It's all just based on luck whether or not I get this position at a certain point. All I could do is make sure that everything I could control is as perfect as possible, and other than that, I just need to hope all the stars align, to be honest. So for the last little bit, I've been going through using the star method, which if you don't know is basically situation, task, action, and result. So I basically just memorized a bunch of possible answers to these interview questions. To find some of these behavioral questions, I just went on stuff like Glassdoor and even Reddit and just looked through all a bunch of these different interview processes that people have been posting about. And then I also went through the company's leadership values and stuff like that to make sure that every single one of my answers hits those leadership values because that's actually what they're looking for in candidates. And then honestly, I've just been sitting here in my room talking to myself for the last few hours. If you guys struggle with behavioral interviews, one of the best things I could recommend is just talking out loud. Hearing yourself verbalize some of those ideas actually goes a long way. And then when you get to an interview, it's much easier to put together your thoughts more concisely because you've already done it previously. And if you're wondering what to talk about, just think about what on your resume is the most impressive because at the end of the day, your resume is what got you that interview. For example, for me, I might talk about this YouTube channel or I might talk about Empor or I might talk about some of my three or four different internship experiences. As long as in my response, I make sure I'm very brief. I mention a situation, task, action, and result that hits one of the leadership values of the company. I never stress about my answer. I hope this helps you guys. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Anyways, now I'll see you guys tomorrow because it's the big day of the interview. I'm honestly so stressed. I'm not sure how I'm going to sleep, but I'll see you tomorrow. I just finished the interview and honestly, I think it went okay. The first half an hour was behavioral stuff and I think I did pretty well on that. But then in the technical question, I really stumbled through my solution. And honestly, the question itself wasn't that complicated. I'm pretty mad because I've solved this question on Lika like three or four months ago. But then when I got the interview, I just completely blanked. And it took me like two hints from the recruiter to get through it, even though I eventually ended up getting it. And then when I got asked about the space complexity of my solution, I got a complete completely wrong so there's that as well but you never know in this kind of situation so leave a like to pray for me to be honest i'm pretty disappointed in myself and i was debating whether or not i should even end up posting this video but i decided to do it anyways because i wanted to show you guys the true process of finding a software engineering job it's not as simple as just learning how to code applying and then landing these like six figure salaries it takes so much work and you go through so many rejections just to get that one job and i've kind of come to this understanding that i wanted to share with you guys if you apply it to a thousand jobs get 999 rejections but one yes will you ever care about those other rejections a rejection does not define you just keep on working and we will all make it there and then anyways i'll see you guys in the next video subscribe for more coding vlogs